Hey guys, what's going on? I just wanted to do a quick update on the Pistol Shrimp Gobby sort of biotope tank. It's obviously filled up with water now. Uh, it got sand in and it's even got life in as well. So you can make out here little hermit crab and some dove snails. What I've done in since the last video is obviously fill it with water, but what I also did was glue together all the rocks. And I did this using the kind of tidal gardens um, approach of using sand and liquid superglue to bond the rocks together. This is a really effective approach to quickly glue together rock. So I can actually pick up this whole aquascape in one go if I needed to. What I also did was I mentioned in the last video I was going to put some sort of calcium reactor media in there. So this is just crushed coral um, to give it a bit more of a sort of textured feel and give the shrimp something to actually bury and sort of dig with. I've added the little heater at the back. It's annoyingly the suction cup keeps coming off, but it's holding the temperature well and that's plugged into an ink bird and the thermometer is just around there controlling that. I've got a little tiny USB pump which actually is doing fine but it doesn't you you don't really get that surface cleaning going on and some of this is just from you know it's still a new scape and I need to probably clear out some of this surface scum myself it would never get cleared. I'm thinking about actually swapping out this little USB pump from one of these tiny, t really, really tiny wave makers, a USB wave maker. Um, you can see here the controller. You can buy this in the UK um, from TMC. I think it's about 60 quid, or you can buy it on AliExpress because TMC just rebranded this ZKSJ um, pump. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, so it might be too powerful for the tank, but it's a really cute, tiny size, and it's about the same size as the USB pump that I've got in there. So I might give that a go, and that hopefully will create a bit more flow, a bit more surface movement. Um, but what I've also potentially could use is a little spray bar, which would go on that, that current pump, and that would give some surface movement as well. The reason why it looks a bit dirty is, well, partly it's because we've got our diatom bloom, which is great in some ways because we want to see that um, cycle starting um, but also I added aquaforest life source and it completely clouded up the water for days and days and left kind of um, yeah sort of silty substance all over the glass and the sand and the rock and that's why it kind of looks a bit dirty here it was all completely covered um, in brown silt like you can see here but as I've added snails and the little crab um, they were actually starting to clear that out and you know it's just getting mixed into the sand so I think eventually that would disappear. But yeah obviously we've got some diatoms here which um, the crab is eating. They've added some dove, sh dove snails from other tank. This little red, um, I think they're from Hawaii, these little tiny dwarf red hermit crabs. I've had this guy for probably two years in one of my, in the softy nano tank and they're really, compared to some hermit crabs, these guys are really peaceful, really tiny, don't bother anything so these are the ones you kind of want, um, but they're a bit more expensive, I think about 10 quid. Mm -hmm. 